I'm in Melbourne in Collins Street and we're off to a little surprise destination. Follow me. We're visiting Google. So if you work in the enterprise, you are well aware that mobile computing is taking the world by storm. Everyone wants to go mobile, but what operating system should you be investing in in the future? Well, we're here at Google today to find out more, and joining me is Gerard Kennedy from Google, the regional, what's your role again? Android Enterprise Regional Manager. Enterprise Regional Manager, there you go. Thanks, so we're gonna have a bit of a chat and find out more. So the Android operating system is really making waves in the mobile computing space across the globe. Jared, tell us a bit about what's going on. Yeah, so Android has uh, recently uh, taken the lead when it comes to the most popular operating system. We have over two billion users, Andrew. Two billion? That's two billion. Yeah, two billion. And uh, that makes us actually the world's most popular operating system, desktop or mobile. That's unbelievable. I didn't realize it was that big. Uh, now tell us, um, from a Google perspective, uh, you're doing a lot of work in that Android space to make the um, Android system suitable for the enterprise. What are some of those areas that you're focusing on? Yeah, so we're doing a lot of joint investment there with our partners like Zebra to make it the best experience for the enterprise. Android was obviously developed many years ago to be a consumer operating system, but there's some really important things you need to consider as an enterprise. First up is how to deploy. If I've got thousands of devices, how do I get them into the field really quickly? How do I secure them? Because um, yeah, all sorts of people will try and do the things to Android because it's a very popular operating system. Uh, so we want to make sure it's secure. When, when the devices are deployed, then you need to manage them. So how do we make sure those devices are always up to date and have got the latest applications? And then how do you support them? So these are, these are areas we've, we're invested in very strongly with, uh, with Zebra at, as one of our partners to make sure it's the best experience of the enterprise. Okay, let's delve deeper into that. Come with me. So Zebra and Google have a really close partnership. Can you tell us a bit about how you work together? Yeah, so um, we work really closely with our, our partners and, and Zebra is certainly a, a globally strategic uh, partner of ours. Uh, we've, we've basically been working on a, on a shared roadmap. So we work very closely with your R&D engineers. Uh, we share our roadmap and we're working closely with Zebra. In terms of the enterprise, it's just taking tools like Stage Now and, and also Lifeguard and, and making sure that they are uh, available in the Android platform and, and work with the latest Android enterprise features. So an example of Lifeguard is we release those 30-day updates I mentioned. They're passed to Zebra. Zebra package them up as part of that Lifeguard uh, management service and then give customers the, the ability to, to manage that and de deploy the schedule uh, of those updates based on their requirements across their environment. Um, we're working very closely on the next releases of Android so that Zebra have got a heads up as to what's coming in Android P and Android Q. And there's a long roadmap there of a joint partnership between Zebra and Google to continue to work on those future Android releases. There you have it, Zebra and Google working together for the greater good of the enterprise. So Jared, before I go, if anybody has any further questions about Android in the enterprise space, where do we go? So certainly reach out to your Zebra account team or you can speak to your EMM vendor uh, that will then train up an Android enterprise. Or lastly, there's the android.com slash enterprise website. Excellent. Thanks for having us. No worries.